Hey beauties, Sam again from Instant Beauty. Um, I just wanted to film a video about uh, what to ask your hair extension technician. A lot of you, I'm sure, are great. You do a ton of research online, um, you know, look up different websites, um, hopefully watch a few YouTube videos about uh, how to find hair extensions, where to go, um, who, you know, what like which salon to visit, how much to spend, which method is right for you. There's a million questions to ask if you've never done it before. Um, and I really recommend finding a good hair extension technician, especially the first time so that they don't ruin your hair and you don't have a bad experience. So I'm just going to outline a few quick, uh, really important questions to ask, specifically your hair extension technician. So. Obviously, there are a lot of different methods out there and it is kind of overwhelming to learn about them all. So it would be a good idea to set up a consultation with, a, with an extension technician or your hairstylist if she does do extensions and ask her about the different types. Um, so remember, not all of them are right for you. There are many that require a lot more aftercare. There are many that um, that requ require more maintenance appointments to the salon. So it is kind of important to look at your lifestyle and see um, what you have time for and what you have the budget for. It's important to not feel obligated to just be pushed um, whatever type of extension that that hairstylist um, specializes in or, uh, or carries at the salon. There are so many different types that you do have to find the best method for you. So don't get pushed into anything just because they say this is the best one or, um, or this is all we have. You know, try to, try to think about what would be best for you and then maybe shop around elsewhere if you have to. So the next thing you want to ask, and this is probably one of the most important things, is to actually see the hair. Um, now I know if you're not familiar with extensions you might not know the difference, but feel for quality. Uh, you want to make sure you ask as well what it's made of, where it comes from, if it's synthetic, uh, if it's synthetic don't get it, <laughs> if it's a synthetic blend don't get it, um, unless it's a clip-in and you just need it for one day, but even so human hair is always better just because it looks more natural. You want to make sure that um, it's it's Remy. If you can have the budget for Remy hair, it's always better to get Remy because what that means is that the hair is collected all in the same and in the same direction. So you don't have hairs that go one way or the other uh, because that can cause a lot of tangling. So all in the same direction is the best, um, and make sure that the hair looks and feels silky and would match the same texture as your own. Make sure that your extension technician can order the right color for you. Um, don't accept hair that is just a little bit off or you know not really the right color or they say oh you can dye it later. You know try and get the exact match because this way you'll cause less damage to the extensions afterwards. You'll get the longer life out of them and of course they'll look great, they'll look natural. Um, you don't want to get extensions that don't look natural for the most part. Um, so, so make sure that they can order your right color and your right texture. Another thing that's important is make sure that they know how to cut and blend the extensions after. Um, so many times I see uh, before and after pictures where they don't cut the ends or they don't cut it to blend into your into their haircut and it looks fake, like it looks very obviously like extensions. So do your best to um, uh, you know, research somebody who actually knows how to cut hair or you'll have to visit your hairstylist or another hairstylist afterwards to get them cut so then that way they look natural. Make sure that you find someone uh, qualified uh, with experience because a lot of times <clears throat> uh, people say they can do extensions or they're just starting out and uh, unfortunately like you don't want to be their experiment so you want to make sure that they have a plenty of experience uh, plenty of um, before and after pictures you know make sure even if you can be recommended by somebody so that way you know for sure that they're they know what they're doing and that they're good um, that is pretty important for sure and make sure they can tell you um, the correct aftercare. Make sure they can explain to you all the steps you need to do to keep um, your hair extensions looking good and to protect your investment. Um, extensions aren't cheap, so you know that's super important to, to, uh, to learn how to take care of them afterwards. And speaking about cheap, um, really try not to go with the person who's the cheapest because they're not 
often they're not the best. Um, I can't say that for sure. It means sometimes you might get really lucky and get a good deal, but do be cautious. If, they, if they're if they um, offering extensions for super cheap, like anything under 300, um, be very wary because the hair quality is probably no good and it won't last you very long and it could ruin your hair. Okay guys, so that's about it. Um, so basically this, to sum it all up, you know, do your research, ask the important questions, don't just get it done. Uh, because you, your hair is important and uh, you don't want to ruin it and it's not cheap again like it's a lot of money so you want to make sure you're getting a good service okay guys that's about it if you have any questions please uh, feel free to uh, comment below and if you're new please subscribe see you guys later bye